What is up? I am Crypto Mason, and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives, and we always find it. Now, today, we are back with another daily market update. In today's daily market update, we have some stacked XRP clips. We've got some HBAR news, a massive new partnership, and a new project connected to Hedera that I actually am pretty bullish on. Um, we're going to talk about the charts everything in today's market update um also this is my final day in victoria um tomorrow you will get a daily market update from home uh and i'll be home for a little bit and then i'm off again uh we do have a crazy august so hopefully i can get some vlogs out for you guys but let's hop into the daily market update once again 25 dollars to somebody in the comments who likes and comments on this video I will be selecting somebody, so make sure you drop a like and comment, and let's go. All right, hopping into the daily market update here. Make sure that you are following me on Twitter right there. Um, and then also a brand new announcement. Me and Meg have created a joint channel called Megson, where we're going to be posting travel, food reviews, all of that. So if you're bored in the bear market, go subscribe to Megson. You can find it by going to the channel section on my page. Um, and scrolling down. Also, make sure you subscribe to all of these channels right here. Uh, definitely make sure you subscribe to all those channels right there. Also, subscribe to Meg's son if you want that. A, a more personal side of me, a more personal side of Megan. Uh, but let's get into the daily market update. What did I say about Bitcoin, folks? We're going right back down. That's all we do is we pump up. It's obviously a fake pump, and then we come back down. We're at $21,700 or $800 right there. ETH is at fifteen hundred still. We got XRP thirty four cents, Cardano forty eight. Nothing really to see on the market today. Biggest gainer is Quantum or Qtum, uh, right there. I'm, I'm bullish on Qtum. It is a great project. Um, and then Nexo, but all of these are like up up like one percent or two percent. Not much uh, in the green today as for altcoins. Um, and then Bitcoin, dude, we're still at twenty one thousand. So the market is looking pretty standard today. We're still battling that $1 trillion level, trying to stay above it. $68 billion on the volume. Nothing really uh, too crazy today. But we do have some crazy HBAR news. Tokeman has said, We are excited to announce that we have selected Hedera as the foundational public ledger for a remarkable project of barter world that would disrupt the, te the global telecom industry with a motive to save as much as possible of $300 billion lost annually. So this is the new project connected to Hedera, which is called Barter Protocol. <clears throat> and they have their Layer Token IDO sale coming soon, uh, right there. But this is a great project. It's gonna dis It's going to, or what looks like a great project. I don't know, but it looks like a great project. Uh, this is not a sponsorship or anything. I just saw that they're connected to Hedera, and I'm interested in anything connected to Hedera. Uh, they're basically going to disrupt the telecom, uh, the telecom industry. Okay, creating a truly free and decentralized global network for everyone. Also, they do have the words "Internet of Value" on their website, which I always like. A decentralized protocol standard to enable the Internet of Value. This might be one to pay attention to. We've got this great clip of Gilbert Verdian from Quant talking about CBDCs. I'm going to mute my mic and we're going to play this clip. Take a look. Um, and our perspective is, is really, you know, CBDCs are not here to completely... Um, Turn, turn the financial system upside down. They're here to complement and become an overlay uh, on, on the existing system. So we will always have real-time payments. We'll have, that was our faster payments and, and backs and, and card. Uh, and we have all the, the, you know, the settlement with, with the central banks as we do today. They are a complement. And this is exactly aligned with Ripple and XRP's view of of CBDCs and all of that. It's exactly aligned with that, that CBDCs are not here to completely turn the financial system upside down. They're here to complement and become an overlay on the existing system. 
Um, and Quant is like way ahead in CBDCs. They're doing a lot of stuff with blockchain. Going to be massive, bro. Um, <clears throat> take 404. So a little update on the cryptos that were called securities by the SEC. This is LCX, which is one that I am personally invested in. LCX, regulated exchange, connected to the World Economic Forum. A uh, great project in my opinion, but their coin was called a security by the SEC. Um, and one of the things on page 46 uh, uh, listing why it's a security, the LCX website has a photo of its CEO pointing to an advertisement for LCX.com and LCX tokens that stated in part, goodbye Goldman. So as you can see, that is the um, picture right there. Obviously, get rid of this stuff, but there's a picture. This is the CEO pointing to an LCX advertisement saying, uh, goodbye, Goldman, crypto offerings done right. Uh, and we know that Gary Gensler has a lot of connections to Goldman Sachs. Okay, he has a lot of connections to Goldman Sachs. I think we showed that in the previous video. Um, but this is some more proof that they actually were looking at that part of, of uh, what LCX was doing. Here's an insane graph from Anders right here. These are all people that are on Ripple's board. Look, one is connected to the Federal Reserve. One is connected to the DO, uh, the Department of the Treasury. Uh, one is connected to the White House. We've got, obviously, Rosie Rios, 43rd Treasurer of the United States. Um, and this guy's a former Ripple advisor uh, who's part of the White House. And just insane. It's just the elites, bro. It's They are on this. They're in there. Um, they're all involved. Pretty dang insane. Pretty dang insane. Moving on, we have a good clip of Brad Garlinghouse explaining how the SEC is hiding things. And then we're going to play another one, actually, which is two minutes and 20 seconds, but it is well worth watching. So make sure you watch to the end. Take a look at this clip, though. Keep in mind what the SEC They demand disclosure from... Keep in mind what the SEC does. They demand disclosure from the companies they regulate. And they won't disclose anything. They had a judge 14 months ago, you know, tell them they need to disclose the notes associated with this very famous speech that happened four years ago saying that Ether is not a security. What are they hiding? Yeah. Like why, it's been 14 months and they're still fighting to, to, to hide those notes. Keep in mind what the SEC does. They demand disclosure from the companies. That are Absolutely insane, bro. Uh, what are they hiding? Right. And we know what they're hiding. Like, we already know what they're hiding. They just do not want to release it. Then we also have um, this, which basically there might be a, a resolution on the lawsuit uh, by 2023. And I believe these are new clips. These are new clips of Brad Garlinghouse out in Canada. And take a look at what he says in here. Will we have a lawsuit end by the end of 2023? That's what he says in this. Take um maybe not your favorite part. <laughs> you are currently a part of a lawsuit by the SEC. They sued you. This is old news by now, but they sued you in 2020, alleging that XRP is a security. You have taken the unusual step of fighting back versus going for a settlement. Um, I won't go too much into the play-by-play, -play, but give us an update in terms of where it's happening now, what is happening now. Um, you have said that, or at least your, your legal counsel has said that they expect a resolution by 2023. Does that still still feel like that's the case? I, I think that definitely feels like the case. I mean, look, uh, it's incredibly frustrating to be a citizen of and a country, a company based in a country that is behind almost every other country in providing clarity around crypto. Uh, I mean, even here in Canada, you, Canada has approved a Bitcoin ETF. The U.S. has not. Uh, I, I think there's so many examples where the U.S. has been out of step with other G20 economies. And again, yeah. I'm not talking about random, I shouldn't, you know, small countries. I'm talking about like major economies yeah. who are providing that clarity and certainty. You know, as you described, the, the Securities Exchange Commission sued Ripple saying that our sales of XRP were investment contracts. It's a kind of a nuanced point. And to your point, we fought it. I think it is so important to fight it, not just for Ripple, but for the whole industry. It, the, the SEC, I think, is a hammer, and when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And the, new, the current chair of the SEC has said he thinks probably everything except for Bitcoin is a security. 
That's a pretty bold statement. I think very, it would be very negative for the U.S. crypto industry, and it's the reason why I think a lot of people are moving outside the United States to build and invest in very or speculate in various crypto projects. Do you ever see yourself as a non-U.S. company, right? Like you just got to, you're hiring a lot outside of the U.S. Do you ever see yourself as a non-U.S. domiciled business? Uh, uh, it should not be lost upon you that Canada is not the U.S. and we're big, opening a big office here. Look, I, it, I mean, it's like any industry. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It, it's like any company, if if the country you're based in is making it hard. Um, I mean, I, our, as a, on a percent. Um, forgot that my mic was muted. So he did say that uh, Canada is way ahead and Canada is way ahead in crypto regulations. Um, but this, the point of this is we're getting a resolution by 2023. Brad is confident of that. Um, and they're, they're opening a big office in Canada, which is actually in Toronto that they're, um, they're uh, opening that. And that is a great clip of like a summary of, of kind of what has happened uh, if you're not clear on the lawsuit. Moving on, we have a couple tweets here. Uh, ben. Uh, BitBoy Crypto. Crypto makes regular people millionaires. This is why the elites hate it. This is why the media hates it. This is why stockbrokers hate it. This is why politicians hate it. Because the truth is they despise you. They want you to fail. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting tweet. Uh, but, I mean, there's nobody holding you down in the morning. Like, when you get out of bed, you can do whatever you want, basically. Some people can't, and you're blessed if you can. You're, you should be grateful if you can. But there isn't any of these elites holding you down. So you can actually make this happen <clears throat> Make this happen for yourself. And crypto is a perfect uh, avenue for that. Now, the final thing I saw was on Bearable Bull's story. You got to be able to lose six figures multiple times and just say it is what it is and move on. That's the only way you'll get to seven, to seven and eight. So, and David Schwartz actually liked this, folks. David Schwartz liked this tweet uh, of mine. Uh, and this is basically from Bearable Bull Story. Where is it? Is he here? Hold on. Did he unlike it or something? Let's see if we can find it. But you do have to be able to lose six figures uh, and easily be emotionless to losing six figures. Uh, or you will not be able to get to seven or eight. Um, it is a fact that David liked this, though. Uh, there he is, right there. Boom, David liked that. So that is all we've got for the Daily Market Update. Make sure that you subscribe. This one was a short one because there's not much going on. Actually, there is a lot going on, uh, but I think that we kept this one concise. And, uh, I mean, there's no price action. There's no crazy price action really going on. But reminder, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more travel slash, like, that type of content, food content, all that. Uh, subscribe to Meg Sun. Also, all my other channels, right? Subscribe to uh, Meg BZK as well. Crypto Mason 2, NFT Mason, all that. Make sure you sign up for Binance as well with the link in the description. I love every single one of you and goodbye.